Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm GNG and in this episode of Jobless the Greatness it's a double header against Real Madrid. First off, it's the Copa del Rey final as we try and get our first trophy here at Villarreal. We've lost two of these finals already. We have a bit of a finals curse here at Villarreal because we've actually lost three finals. We lost the Europa League final, two Copa del Rey finals. Can we get over the line in this one against Madrid? And then after we take on Tenerife in the league, we'll take on Madrid at home uh, in La Liga because there is a title race on all of a sudden. We get to our games first of all that we've played since the last episode. So we got to the Copa del Rey final by getting a nil-nil draw at home with Espanyol. We won the first leg 3-2. That got us through into our third final. Uh, then we took on Racing Santander. Just before an international break we rotated a little for this game. And we came away with a 2-0 win. Carnival and Pedro Toro, young left back. With a second goal of the season for us and put us 2-0, clean sheet, three points, went into the international break, happy. And then we came back and it's been goals crazy since we came back. Starting off against Getafe away, we went 2-0 down after 22 minutes in this game. We could pull those goals back before halftime, so it was 2-2 at halftime. A brace from Sesco made it 4-2 and then they pulled one back for 4-3, but we held on for a big away win. And then it was uh, Celta Vigo at home and eight goals in this one. Uh, it was 2-1 at half time. Gonzalo and Cabrusai, they pulled one back in injury time off first half. We got another three goals then with Sesco, Carrera and Pozzo. They got another one back but we held on for a 5-3 win. And five goals in the next game too. We rotated ahead of the cup final when we took on Osasuna. A 5-0 win. Two for Pozzo, Alderschmidt, Buena and Rougier. They had a man sent off when it was 4-0 and we got a goal in injury time for a 5-0 win. And that has left us in third position we are five points behind real madrid we have a game in hand we have two games in hand on barcelona who are level on points with uh madrid haven't won in their last uh three games four games actually five games actually sorry they haven't won in their last five games they've been knocked out of the champions league by roma they lost their first game of the season one nil to barca they drew at sociedad they drew at betis yeah we're in a really good position here if we can just win these games we have to beat madrid in the league and we want to beat them in the cup final of course so this is the lineup we're going with it's our usual 11 uh, could we get over the line and win a final for the first time here with Villarreal so here we are for the Copa del Rey final there's the Madrid lineup as I said they haven't won in their last five games they've had a real dip in form since they were unbeatable for most of the season we've won four of our last five we're coming into this fresh after rotating the lineup we're coming into the final in form Zidane's Madrid against our Villarreal can we win our first trophy here in Spain? Madrid in possession, 10 seconds gone. They're on the attack here right away from the kickoff. <laughs> Don't tell me we're going to give away an early goal. Galasso wins it back. Gonzalo Carrera, Wayneand has it. Vukovic gets torn, picks out Sesco in a little bit of space. He takes it down, Sesco. An early goal for here well, for us will be a huge boost as Galasso heads into the box. He takes the shot. Oh, it's into the side of the net. Good chance created early. Meupu with a free kick here. He plays it to Carrera quickly on to Galasso. He gets torn, bit of space, runs at the man. Plays through Sesco. Sesco, can he get across into the box? No, he has to cut it back to Galasso. Outside of the boot, it was deflected by the defender. We have a corner kick. We've started this final really well. And here's Gonzalo now with the corner kick. Whips it in near post. Wade Anders there. Oh, it's cleared by him. Chow, who recently picked up his first Brazil cap. Plays it to Carrera. Not sure we're going to create anything. And it stays nil-nil. Santana winning the ball for us here. This is Vukovic in midfield. Back to Cabrusa. Two minutes of the first half remain. It's been very even since that bright start from us. Both teams sort of cancelling each other out so far. Here's Cabrusa in possession. Here's Wayneand. He brings it forward. Here's Vukovic. Vukovic to Santana. Santana comes down this wing. Can he get across into the box? The young right back. Back to Vukovic. Chow in the box. Gets turned. Can he get a shot away? Chow! Oh, he tried to curl one in to the top corner. Sadly, it was too high. So, half-time here in the cup final. Neither team has had a shot on target. 50-50 possession. XG is very low. It's a poor quality cup final. But we are right in this game. If we can get ahead in this second half, could we get a hand on that trophy? Madrid in possession here, but we win it back with Cabrusa. Quickly on to Sesco, to Chow, who plays through Sesco. He's got a man over here too as well. Sesco into the box. Can he get some sort of ball across? No, he gets to go back. Santana. Quickly clips it over to Galasso. Oh, he heads it into the side of the net. Another chance for us, but it'll stay nil-nil. Free kick here, Chow to take it. 19 minutes to go, and their keeper gets across Chavalier to make that save, and it stays nil-nil. Throw in for Madrid, nine minutes to go. Camavinga for them. A goal for either side here will probably be a winner in this cup final, or will it be extra time? They bring it forward, Madrid. They've been very quiet in this game, but they look threatening at the moment as they come down this side. 
try and get men back. Chow tracking back to try and stop the cross. Gets out there initially, can't stop it. It'll come in. Bernardi comes out for it, claims it in the air. Really good goalkeeping from Bernardi, who we will probably sign at the end of the season. We have a 29 million uh, fee agreed for him from Benfica. He's been really good, apart from one bad game against Dortmund. Uh, we probably will sign him in the summer. Here's Juan Lu, who's come on. Cabrusai, Wienand, who's been really good in that midfield since we signed him. Got his first cap for Belgium in that international break. Here's Rougier. Oh, it's a poor pass. Camavinga has it. Our Madrid going to open us up. Is a poor pass going to cost us? It is. Oh, that's so annoying. We've been good in this game. And it's just an absolutely terrible pass in midfield that has cost us. Rougier has come on for the tiring Vukovic. And it's a bad pass. Uh, Juan Lu had gone forward. It's just a matter of squaring it and then firing it past Bernardi. Eight minutes to go. We're 1 0 down. Madrid winning the ball back here. We've picked up an injury with Carrera, which is a bit of a worry as Madrid come forward here. We're currently down to 10 men because he's off the pitch and we've made our substitution so we won't be able to take him off unless we get to extra time. We take that if we could get there. But there's the full time whistle. Oh, it's more final heartbreak. Late again. I think we lost the other Copa del Rey final to Real Madrid late on. We've lost this one again. It is a fifth. Four to final defeat, sorry. No, no, three Copa del Rey finals and a Europa League final we've lost now. And, yeah, just cannot get a trophy yet here in Spain. We're still in the title race, as I said. But Madrid lift the Copa del Rey, Copa del Rey final. I'm a bit speechless here after more final heartbreak. So we go play Tenerife now in the league. And then it's Real Madrid again, this time at home in the league. So here we go again, taking on Real Madrid a week later from that cup final. And we have played a league game in the meantime. So we had a midweek game against Tenerife. And we fully rotated the lineup. We made 10 changes to the lineup. And it looked like it was a mistake as we went 1 0 down just before half time. But we got back through two goals from corner kicks one from Aldersmith, one from Badu. We held on for an away win and a huge win for us because it keeps us in this title race. We are now six points behind Real Madrid. Real Madrid, who won their game midweek, if I can get it up here on the left. Here it is. They won their game 8-0 against Real Zaragoza uh, midweek. So definitely back in form. Uh, the earlier game on the day, Barcelona have drawn their game. So they're a point ahead of us, but we have three games in hand on them. So yeah, second place is up for grabs for us. We are in with an outside chance of the title. We need definitely not to lose this game, but a win would be huge. So here we are at home. I did forget to mention in the lineup that Carrera's injury in the Copa del Rey final keeps him out of this game. Toro is the left back. We switched him into a no nonsense fullback role for this game. Hopefully he can come through unscathed and won't cost us in this game. Carrera only fit for the bench. There's the league table again. Six points behind them. A game in hand on them. If we win tonight, we'd be three behind them with that game in hand. In front of our own fans gives us a huge chance. We have beaten Madrid here in previous seasons. Could we do it again? Corner kick for us, six minutes gone. Chow to take it in the pouring rain here as it comes in near post. Sesko, oh, he nearly got up. Meupu wins it. Vukovic on the edge of the box. Cabrusai, oh, the former Real Madrid player, blasts it into a defender. It'll go out for another corner kick and it will be Gonzalo who sprints over to take this one. Can we get something? We scored from two corners against Tenerife. Here's Meupu, oh, heads that one onto the roof of the net. It stays nil nil. Throw in here for Real Madrid, down to Gruller for them and they come. Backfield, ball over the top, Meupu cuts it out brilliantly, here's Wienand, back to Cabrusai, that was brilliant from Meupu. Oh, Cabrusai, oh, what has he done? Oh, he has had an absolute nightmare season with mistakes, and there is another one. We got away with it, brilliant defending from Meupu, cut the ball out, it, look at that, brilliant header from Meupu, Wienand plays it back to Cabrusai, and he just dilly-dallies on the ball, I don't know what he's trying to do, gifts Real Madrid a goal in this massive game. And we're 1 0 down. Half time here, and we have been by far the better team. More possession, more chances created, and we're 1 0 down. The only shot on target for Real Madrid is that goal that Caprusi absolutely gifted them. Oh, I'm so angry with him. Going to trash the arms here, going to tell them they've been terrible so far, even though they've actually played pretty well. But we need a much better second half. If we could get a leveler in this game, I'd take it right now. Throw in here for Madrid. We are 8 minutes or so into this second half. Rodrigo takes the shot. Thankfully, he fires it over and we stay 1-0 behind. It's Madrid coming under attack again. They've started this second half much better, but Meupu cuts that one out. Plays it long up, but it comes straight back at us now. 
They're going to come down to this side. They're going to take on Toro. In comes the cross. Santana got up there to knock Rodrigo off the header. And it's off target again. Coming on the attack. They've been much better in this second half. I think our chance really was in that first half when we were on top. Same as the cup final. We were on top in that cup final. Didn't make the most of it. And it looks like it cost us again tonight. As Madrid come on the attack down this side. Crossfield ball. Rodrigo. It's blocked. Falls to a Madrid player. A terrible touch there. Our mark reached. It's 1-0 Madrid. Santana here with a throw in. Down to Chow. Back to Cabrusai. Hopefully he doesn't make another mistake here. Cabrusai plays it all the way back to Bernardi. And he plays it to Meupu who gets turned. Plays it to Vukovic. Vukovic to Cabrusai. Cabrusai now needs to get it forward. He's taking his time on the ball again. It's a bit of a worry after that mistake. Back to Cabrusai. He plays it to Santana. To Chow. Oh, Chow with a poor pass. Colwell cuts it out. Jimenez and Madrid will come on a counter-attack here quickly. Down this side. They seem to be targeting... Toro at left back here comes Madrid it's cleared half out Rodrigo on the edge of the box Camavinga shot blocked Gonzalo up to Chow can we break here Sesco Sesco beaten to it Madrid will come on the attack Wayne and with a lovely tackle there he really is improving in that midfield here's Galasso Gonzalo Chow it stays 1-0 Madrid into injury time only seconds remaining as the ball falls to Bernardi about 30 seconds off 3 minutes of injury time to play could we get a late equaliser here are we going to fall to two 1 0 defeats to Madrid? Both unfortunate in their own way. A mistake in this one is going to cost us. Vukovic back to Cabrusai. We need to get this ball forward. Cabrusai again taking his time. Here's Meupu. Meupu bringing it forward. Toro. Toro back to Meupu. We're not making much progress here. Is time going to run out on us? We're meant to be playing direct here with attacking, but no, we're going backwards. And we really have gift to Madrid. The three points here. It's back to back defeats to Real Madrid. And I think that ends probably our outside shot at a La Liga title this season. Well, that defeat sees us now uh, nine points behind Real Madrid with a game in hand. If we win that, we're back to six. We're not completely outside the title race, but it's unlikely Madrid are going to drop that many points now. We seem to have been unfortunate. They had their dip in form at the wrong time. We weren't facing them in time, really. But yeah, we have two games in hand on Barca, who are a point ahead of us. Our main objective now is to make sure we are runners up. We have sealed Europa League football. We're almost certain a Champions League football. But yeah, we want to finish second and uh, keep the pressure on Madrid until the very last days of the season. And we're going to come back in the next episode for the final two games of the season against Sevilla and Las Palmas. Uh, before then, we have to play Real Betis, Espanyol, Atletico Bilbao and Real Sociedad. We should win all four of those games. Hopefully we do. And going into the final two games of the season... Maybe the title will still be alive, but hopefully it'll just be a matter of sealing second place. And then we can turn our focus to the final season of this Jobless to Greatness Challenge. If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like on the video. Always good to see more likes and the people are enjoying them. Don't forget to leave any feedback you have in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and helps you catch every video that's posted on the channel. Videos are posted Monday to Friday, 6pm Irish time. And subscribing will make sure you get the notification. There's also a playlist on the channel. We're going to catch up on anything that's happened so far. And until the next episode, please take it easy. <laughs>